Hi y'all. For this video, I wanted to go through one of the first computers that I actually bought that was an off-the-shelf computer that I actually still have. Top's been removed already. Um, this is one of the older style designs. Uh, there is even some computers out there that still even do this where you have to take the whole chassis frame apart all at once and it all slides out. This is one of the old, old designs. Wanted to show people that how really inconvenient computers used to be. As you can tell, you don't really have access to anything in there. A lot of things have changed over the years. This is old legacy product. This is, again, the first computer I actually built, bought off the shelf. After that, mine were custom built. Built them myself. This is one that has been floating around just as a backup unit that we had photos and some other things on that will be taken apart, dismantled, and pretty much thrown away from this point. It's no longer any good. It's too old. It's too ancient. But this is a good point on what I can use it for is making videos, teaching, letting people see the really, really old technology. So this is kind of a special thing for me to use this so people out there know, gets a little bit more, I would say, shelf life out of it. Gets a little bit more life. Get some education out there. Let people know what things used to be. I have other videos out there where you can see. I have another little tower here that's more modern. It's not the new stuff. It's still old. But you can see the difference. Got the power supply in the middle, right where you can't get to anything. In the old days, that's kind of how they designed things. So you wouldn't get in there and fiddle. You really had to know how to get in there to get in there to work. This was the difference between in the old days where you had to take things in because you had to take so many things apart. You had to learn how to get in there and, and how to work on things. Had to have special tools, long screwdrivers. Um, I haven't had any cases lately or anything that I've had to use some of these specialized you know I had to have long enough screwdrivers so that if you got to get in to take a bolt off the back or a screw out of the back you might have to go in through here move a cable and get in you can't use a little tiny short screwdriver you got to make sure it's long enough that you can reach in there and you know you get some challenges um, Wanted people to see what an older style computer looked like. Want to show you an actual IED hard drive in place. IED is legacy, it's gone, it's ancient, but you might run across it. Here's proof that there's still computers out there hooked up with it. I can fire this up. I believe it's got XP in there. It'll run. Haven't tried to load anything new into it. I don't think a new operating system would run on the old hardware. Might be something I might want to try. Do a video of. But for this video, wanted to show off an older style computer. Oh, I even forgot I had that in there. There's an upgrade I did on this one. The wireless card with the antenna. Nowadays, you can still find these. The newer, like AX, uh, Wi Fi 6, I believe. Um, I don't know about any other ones, but most of them now have the little external antenna that will mount on there. A lot of the new motherboards are 
the same port as a laptop where they put the wireless card on there with the little antenna wires that run inside your case. So there's an upgrade to this of not the original. There's some parts in here that I've obviously installed later on that I forgot about. Um, wanted to show this to show how difficult it was and can be to work on a computer. Here's the back plate with the different video outs. Look at these old ports. Anybody know what these are? Anybody remember these? Some people might know this if you're an admin. You might still use this in a few places. Old purports. I'm sure everybody's got those cables still laying around. Everybody had a million of them. How about these ones? These are for your keyboard and mouse. PS2 ports. You have the audio ports. Audio ports. They look the same as before. Or they do now. So you can tell those haven't changed. You notice there's no USB on here. On that back plate. USB was something that a lot of really old computers didn't have but this one does have it this one has it here and you can see another interesting port a game controller port interesting ain't it these are all the old stuff. Really, really old stuff. This one had the old compact uh, flash style floppy drive. I don't know if anybody's really used that. I haven't seen too many places that really had it. This computer was bought as a business computer line. It was the upper end, so it had that nice port. Have the nice pop-open drawer so you can hide your other drive or whatever you want to do so people you don't people don't know what you got. Used to be a lot of people would hide their burners and other things in there so people wouldn't know they have a burner. They just have a DVD or whatever up top. Not even DVD, a CD-ROM up top. You might have a burner, your DVD, your you know all kinds of other stuff down in here. That you don't want people to know about especially in a business um, there were some little things that were done in the old days that aren't really done today there might be cases out there still designed a lot like this the little flap and you know this is the old style I wanted to show it off I want people to see it um, Motherboard, I don't think I can pull that right now, but I will probably do a little bit more video on this, a little bit of more dismantling, showing off a little bit what's in there. But as you can tell, there's a couple key factors in here. You have your ribbon cable. has the two connectors for the IAD be a separate video coming on IAD old legacy technology but it's the history of the computer it's something I believe everybody should know because if you don't know where it came from you don't understand where you're at and where your future can be so I'm going to cover it it's up to you to watch it not watch it but my recommendation is watch all the legacy stuff so you are aware of where the technology came from. You understand because there's still a lot of debate on a lot of things out there. PS2 port, keyboard and mouse, there's still a lot of debate on that. It may come back because 
you're dedicating two ports to two devices if it's USB or PS2 PS2 is a dedicated port to the motherboard it's not a hot swappable it's not a recommunicating device there's still a lot of debate on that so it might not be a PS2 port it might be something a newer style but if that comes out if you don't know what a PS2 port is and don't know what it looks like and what it was used for it might confuse you on why they're bringing this out when everybody's using USB so check out some of the legacy videos um, that's why I'm doing them is so that you're aware of the history of certain things so that when the new generation comes out it all comes out from out from the original and moves up and here there's even a floppy ribbon I'm sure not a whole lot of people know what a floppy is anymore I don't even know if you can I'm sure you can still buy them um, Floppy drives, they're so small, I don't even know if you can save data on them anymore. Everything that we do is such a huge file sizes nowadays, it, it's useless. Um, but, again, that's legacy. That's knowing where the technology came from. Your Blu-ray, your DVD, CD-ROMs. Um, whatever else comes out after that is all designed from a floppy drive because that was what replaced the floppy so this is an important thing that I want to bring up so you can see in the old legacy computer how it was set up didn't have a DVD burner in there that wasn't invented then came out later that's what you use floppies for that's why they have this compact one in here because it was a bigger disk that held more data that was the variable between the floppy and this and again I'll have a video on floppy that'll be coming out soon so as you can see it's got a big nice power supply in here not today it has old connectors molex connectors it has the memory still in there all of that type of stuff when I take it apart I'll do a video I'll show off all the old stuff I'll take out the board show the CPU all of those type of things so come back check out that part that'll probably be part two I'll probably label this part one that'll be part two when that's available it's not going to be at the same time as this video because I'm probably going to do a few other things before I do that so wanted to touch base on that wanted to show this off because it was floating around and I went that's cool I can show it archive it basically everybody can see the old classic this was my first off-the-shelf bought PC not one that I've borrowed from someone or used someone else's. This was my own. So, with a few upgrades over the years, bigger hard drive, the Wi-Fi card, those little tiny things were added. So, go ahead and like the video, hit subscribe, leave your notes. Um, wait for the second part when I take it apart show all the insides show the memory and everything else that'll be coming sometime in the future already thank you